the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for the warmth, the love, such graciousness. Um, Dr. Emos Fenwa, thank you, sir. Truly honor you and I appreciate you. I am grateful and honored to be here. Let me appreciate the entire pastorate. Thank you for the privilege. Hallelujah. To every man of God here, every woman of God, the Lord bless you. It's an honor to share fellowship together. And um, please permit my bias as I honor a great man of God, Dr. Lumide Emmanuel. God bless you. Thank you so much. The Lord honor you, a dear wife, family. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matchless love and beauty and endless worth. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. Holder of my future days to come And all my days on earth I will away The moment that I see you face to face For nothing in this world can satisfy You're the cup that won't run dry Your presence is ever to me Your presence living God we are gathered tonight to encounter your grace to encounter Jesus we have come to obtain the grace that makes for advancement I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless us in no small way tonight and let the name of Jesus be glorified for in Jesus name I pray God bless you please be seated We rise in this kingdom on the strength of the light that we access. It takes more than a desire to advance to go forward. It takes more than a well-intentioned desire. It takes light. In this kingdom, it is the light that you access that paves the way for you into a life of exploits and a life of greatness and may that light come over someone tonight in the name of jesus you know one of the reasons why i love to teach the word of god is because 
the word of god among the many things that it is and it does is that the word of god defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer god as mighty as he is cannot be committed to the to the believer outside of the scope and the provision that the word allows that means if you cannot find it in scripture god is not committed to make it happen in your life it is how he designed this system to work that he has even honored his word above his office and above his reputation so every time the word of god comes it is not one of the many aspects of the service it is a very important aspect of the service because when the word of god comes i may have said it here that the word of god is like a tree if you look at this right here this is holding a cup of water so if you see someone coming to you with a tray you begin to rejoice because the tray carries something on it ultimately you want to enjoy what is on the tray but you cannot enjoy what is on the tray until you can hold the tray is that true so when the word of god is coming to you you have to understand that the word of god is like a spiritual tray it comes with it your lifting your next level new anointing your healing new grace so when you embrace the word you have also demonstrated your commitment to embrace everything that comes with the word and may the lord help us tonight in jesus name i prayed and sought the lord for what to share um I'm, i've always been very intentional but i think i'm growing again to be very intentional about the things that i share number one i only teach the things that i believe and number two i i truly teach for transformation and for impact at the back of the things that i teach i desire not just for people to see and appreciate the depth of the truth the dexterity of the communication more than that my desire and my drive is to see that every time god gives me an opportunity to bring truth to god's people that it is communicated in a way that they are able to receive it and that it produces results in their lives hallelujah praise the praise the lord so in line with the team i want to teach on what i title the price for new dimensions the price for new dimensions believe me this teaching will bless you for many of us we probably are at the end of certain phases in our lives and we're trusting God for more greater horizons greater dimensions of exploits in ministry in business there are keys that make for these kinds of results and it is important that we access through knowledge the keys that make for new dimensions hallelujah the teaching seeks to supply us the spiritual truths that would help us contend for growth to maintain impact and relevance as far as our destinies are concerned three scriptures and then god would open our eyes to a few things tonight in the name of jesus philippians chapter 3 We'll start from verse 12 to 14 Philippians chapter 3 not as though I had already attained either were already perfect but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which I am apprehended of Jesus Christ 13 brethren i count not myself to have apprehended he says but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before 14 i press someone prophesy say i press one more time say i press i press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of god in christ jesus scripture number two first corinthians 8 and verse 2 very interesting challenging and instructive scripture can we read together ready one to read 
and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know one more time and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know hallelujah just like the man of god was sharing I have seen by the privilege of God's grace I have seen people make impact in ministry impact in career in business I have seen people rise mightily so mightily used by God but the surprising thing is as frequent as I have seen people rise I have also seen people fall and I have seen others who did not fall but stop rising. I have seen people plateau at dimensions, accessing the anointing, the prophetic, the gifts of the spirit, ministry, growth, finances. There are two dangers that the Bible warns about. Number one is retrogression. Number two is to plateau and to limit yourself at a level. There are many people who believe that just because you are not going down, it means that is the best of you. The Bible declares that the path of the just, that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter, even unto the perfect day. So, so many people are not able to make sustainable advancement. And the reason is because many have neglected some of the truths that you'll be learning others may have been ignorant of some or even all of this truth and so conferences like this number one would challenge those who have gone down to show you that there is a road map the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies that though i fall i will rise elevation is still a possibility in this kingdom that no matter how low nobody can get lower than jesus went down to hades yet he came up again and is exalted at the highest position that already is a pattern for us that no matter how low you get there is a power that same power that raised christ from right where he was and took him and elevated him for someone that same power is lifting you from where you are to where you need to be in the name of jesus christ hallelujah and then for those who have plateaued at a level now please listen let me teach you something up front we advance in this kingdom by light and life is in faces and dimensions that means the dimension of light you need to access stage a or a level in your life may not necessarily be the only dimension of light and truth you will need to access another level let me tell you what limitations are limitations are a letter from your future telling you i am there but your current level of knowledge cannot take you there are we together when you face limitations that inhibit your progress see them as letters from your future coming to you to verify that that future you desire is actually there but this current version of you cannot go there so when you start out in life the level of knowledge that brings you to level a or stage a spiritually financially ministerially and otherwise you will need more than that to shift to a new season now the challenge is that most people they stop learning and they stop opening up themselves to new superior dimensions of truth and you will find out that even though they may not backslide they plateau at a level and it is dangerous it is dangerous for your yesterday to look better than your today hallelujah are we learning i want to share with us two keys that i've learned as a prize for new dimensions and it's a charge and then we'll pray and I trust that God will grant us grace even if it's in a few minutes to just pray while I was at the office I 
I heard the man of God just speaking and prophesying and declaring and um, for me I think that it will be good to just follow along that line to also speak over our lives when we're done praise the name of the Lord one of the ways that the Lord helps us to grow and to access light in the kingdom is to personify his thoughts and his intents using men that means it is consistent with God's character that every time God wants to establish a modus operandi that means a pathway to achieving certain things spiritually he will usually find a man and then model that path with that man and keep that man as a reference as his recommendation that every time you want to access that dimension you study that individual for instance every time you want to study on encounters you want to know god you want to press towards the things of god the biblical figure that is recommended is the man jacob jacob is god's idea of the protocol towards an encounter how that he encountered the lord you see that in genesis 28 then in genesis 32 the bible records his failure records the consequences for his failing to discern the lord's presence and then now records an opportunity that god gave him again and how that he wrestled with that man to a point that god named that dimension after jacob he calls himself the god of jacob he says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord and who shall stand in his holy place he that had clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he says that he will receive a blessing from the lord and righteousness from the god of his salvation then he says this is the generation of them that seek your face O jacob king james says the original translation is O god of jacob that means we seek your face after the pattern of jacob are we together when you want to study on prevailing prayer the kind of prayer that produces results the individual that personifies that dimension is elijah james chapter 5 when you read from verse 13 it begins by saying that um, the fervent is any man afflicted he said let him pray he says let him call upon the elders and then he says the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much but he does not leave us in the dark he now says elijah that means this is my idea of fervent effectual prayer elijah was a man of like passion just as we are but he accessed certain keys and he prayed that there be no rain for a period of three and a half years and to show you he was not trying he engaged that same principle again again means mastery when you do something again you have gained mastery and the bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully are we learning now there are individuals who are god's idea when god wants to caution you he can use certain individuals for instance remember lord's wife there is a lesson instead of telling you the whole lesson it just tells you take note of this woman if you understudy the woman in that study is the lesson god's idea of what it means to be blessed in the kingdom is personified in the man abraham are we together he called an idol worshiper from all of the chaldeans and began to give him instructions from genesis chapter 12. in fact that destiny was supposed to be for his father terror but he could not make it he did not meet the requirements and god would call abraham and now began to tell him that if you follow in keeping with what i'm giving you i will bless you this and that would happen to you in you will all the families be blessed hallelujah by the time you study abraham we get to isaiah chapter 51 from verse 1 and 2 particularly verse 2 it says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that bore you for i called him alone keyword alone i didn't call him with wealth i didn't call him with wisdom i call him alone so find out how wealth came to his life find out how wisdom came to his life he says i called him alone and blessed him and increased him 
hallelujah are we learning now yes so you see that all through scripture you find individuals who represent the thoughts of god as touching certain areas every time we look at a lesson from a doubter if i ask you who in the bible is your lesson for doubting god you will shout thomas without even if you are not serious spiritually you may shout thomas because for some reason that individual so this is how it is in scripture one of the ways that we study scripture is to look at men who have passed through a process and at the end of their lives they did not just get results they, are, they, they became God's idea of that pathway that means in studying them you can learn the pathway that leads to that result and right now we want to study one person in the Bible who gives us an idea of the price it takes for a new dimension a price it takes to go forward are you ready judges chapter 6 we're studying the man called gideon judges chapter 6 for reference when you start from verse 1 our, our full text is 6 and 7 the bible says that the children of israel did what was wrong in the sight of god and then he handed them over to their enemies for a period of seven years the medians now and they punished them they tortured them when you read on a prophet came and began to speak cautioning the people of god because that is usually god's pattern that's how he leads men to repentance we see that pattern consistent especially in the old testament that every time people forgot about god he handed them over to their enemies for a period and in the midst of their pain he will send a prophet to tell them this is why this is happening now i leave you with an option are you ready to repent or remain slaves and they would come and say god we are ready then he would send a man to command deliverance for them they will enjoy the blessings of obedience then disobey again then the cycle repeats itself like that are we together now let's start from verse 11 for sake of time the bible says there came an angel of the lord and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto joash and all of that and his son gideon threshed wheat by the wine press to hide it from the midianites verse 12 the bible says we're reading to 16 and the angel of the lord appeared unto him and said unto him the lord is with thee thou mighty man of valor and gideon said unto him "O oh my lord if the lord be with us why then is all this befallen us and where be all his miracles which our fathers told us saying did not the lord bring us up from egypt but now the lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the midianites 14 and the lord looked upon him and said go in this thy might and thou shalt save israel from the hand of the midianites have i not sent thee 15 and he said unto him oh my lord wherewith shall i save israel behold my family is poor in manasseh and i am the least in my father's house last verse and the lord said unto him surely i will be with thee and thou shalt smite the midianites as one man so here we see an encounter a young boy called gideon threshing and hiding um the products that he has from the midianites because they will usually come to bully them and collect everything and an angel appears to him and begins to speak to him about his prophetic destiny it is interesting to know that god never calls you by what you are or what you wear he calls you by your prophetic destiny he's seen a man hiding and he says thou mighty man of valor because it's in his character to call things that be not as though they were are we together now so the young gideon just like jeremiah is now complaining look at the understanding that kept that guy you see one of the reasons why they were slaves was not just that they were weak people there was an understanding that encouraged that slavery and as soon as god ap approached him to talk to him listen to his complaint he said i am the least and then i am from the least family 
don't come and flatter me with such an elaborate and ambitious agenda that i will go to save the nation of israel from the midianites and god encouraged him and he said well i have a problem our fathers once told us that they advanced they did this they conquered nations they saw miracles why have we not seen this kind of thing and he told him go in this your might you know what he was telling him he said this ability to begin to probe into why the miracles stop is strength for you don't stop thinking don't stop pondering start asking that question because there is a secret in it the might there was his understanding understanding is might it was not just an impartation it says go in your might i have seen that you sustain another kind of spirit because most of the people kept being slaves not asking why the miracles stopped they didn't ask why the miracles happened in the first place so he's saying gideon there is something happening to your understanding that is equal to might you are probing into why things that were happening now stopped do you know most people do not have this grace this might of superior understanding even if you do not have result the ability to start vetting why it stopped and why it happened is power are we together so you find out that in january every day was favor and then february it stops and you do not ask a question the first question is why did it happen the second question is why did it stop once upon a time in my life everybody would call me and bless me but now it looks like the same people are still around my vicinity but no one seems to beckon on me in this thy might the courage to ask questions to say our fathers told us i've not forgotten it is still in my memory that a time came in the history of israel they were invincible their enemies will see them and begin to shake because there was a hand that was with them why have we not seen it he was asking the angel and remember it's out of the abundance of the hearts that the mouth speaks that means that as he was stretching in that weakness and that limitation his mind was rejecting that level he was asking a question why am i like this can i tell you this i'm sorry to say but respectfully speaking it is one of the reasons why many people in africa don't move forward we don't ask questions why am i like this no favor no grace why is ministry not growing why is my spiritual life not growing can i tell you one of the most superior knowledge that you can have is how to learn what you don't know how to find out and how to learn what you do not know how to ask the questions that bring the right answers most believers accept status quo and give it some superstitious explanation well i'm sure god just wants it to be that way or well i'm sure it's the devil but that in itself is not enough answer are we together i just thought to, this is not even what i'm talking about i just thought to draw a lesson i didn't want to just allow the issue of gideon to pass because many of us here seated looking at me you once heard my grandfather was a wealthy man he was a blessed man he was the greatest in the village but now the family is the poorest and no one you have not accessed that might that gideon had to ask questions what did he do that made the results happen what did he stop doing that made the results stop what was i doing that made me so powerful that my spiritual life kept growing from level to level I, I could it was palpable that i was growing the bible said how shall we escape if we neglect carelessness so great is salvation many people who fail do not ask what they are doing or not doing many people who succeed short term don't study their results they only celebrate it can i tell you this 
celebrating success without thoroughly understanding the dynamics around it you are only implicating yourself for casualty and it is painful to ones who was there it is painful to ones rejoice it is painful to ones taste of the grace of god are you learning something tonight so when he said go in your your might most people think oh some impartation had happened the might there is not yet an anointing no the might there is the construct the understanding that courage and fortitude to start probing what took the presence of god away from you gideon what took the presence away from from the nation of israel how could god's covenant people these guys didn't need to lift a finger for jericho to go down now the midianites were oppressing them and gideon had to hide the angel said you've gotten a key don't lose it and god is handing that key over to someone tonight what is the key listen what is the key the courage to probe into why results are happening or why results are not happening whether you are succeeding or failing both of them deserve your study what am i doing that is making my promotion happen every year don't just say thank god promotion is happening no what am i doing can i tell you this when your results come by mastery you do not fear again it is possible that you can activate laws the laws of the kingdom and the laws of the spirit and in truth by luck you can access something that works and then you find out that it does not work again conferences like this bring us to a point of mastery where you can defend your result with your understanding before you graduate a student from a college of education or a university usually there is something called a defense is that true where he comes before a parliament and they try to vet and probe into his understanding so far doesn't matter the topic they are not necessarily just looking at the topic of discussion his acumen his understanding his ability to argue out in defense of the degree or whatever certification he wants to have and on the strength of what he demonstrates they can now say no you are qualified life will ask you what makes you think you will be anointed for 30 years you can enjoy your anointing for two years while it lasts what makes you believe that in the next 10 years you will still be relevant in ministry what gives you the audacity to believe people will still place a demand on your life go in this dynamite the ability to probe into why things happen and the ability to probe into why things don't happen you go and read your bible in the earth work of jesus every time people came and asked him questions he respected them read your bible whether it was the woman at the well whether it was john chapter 3 i hope you know it was this probing that better the scripture we use for salvation now for god so loved the world it started as a man's asking a question nicodemus came to jesus by night john 3 and verse 1 he said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these signs and wonders except god be with him and then jesus said now that you've gotten my attention let me begin to talk to you verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again then he asked another question the woman at the well she began to ask the question and he answered because the seed for an answer is a question there is no reason why you should have an answer if you're not asking a question for as long as you are not asking why your life is where it is for as long as you are not asking why you are making tremendous impact before you celebrate results be sure you can reproduce it in my opinion one of of all the dominion instructions that were given to man more than being fruitful the most powerful for me is replenish replenish is where true authority and master lies the ability to produce that result again and again and again and again and again are we learning so he comes to gideon and gideon meets him with a question why is my life like this you are giving me a command and 
you are telling me that i'm going to be a great warrior i will bring down the midianites and command salvation for god's people but why are we like this and the angel said keep asking because you see there is a law and when jesus came he opened us up to that law the law is found in matthew chapter 7 from verse 8 for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone not preachers everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh lord why is favor not working in my life proverbs 18 verse 1 through desire a man having separated himself the bible says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom most people would be out of their problems if only they understood this mysterious secret in the kingdom to ask why things are not working Why are doors closing for me? Why do I come to church and the same prophetic word comes on everybody but some re come back with testimonies and others sit down and say the word is not working. Why? I ask a lot of questions. I ask God. I ask men. Dead and alive because in that ability to inquire you will find secrets secrets that make for your continuity secrets that guarantee your stability according to isaiah 33 it is wisdom and knowledge that becomes stabilizers of a man's time and his destiny is someone learning already you are going to pray right now over yourself for the grace to ask questions and continue to ask those questions until answers come go ahead and pray in one minute why am i not walking in the dimension of the anointing that i desire why is ministry not growing why is my finances going down what happened in january that brought me favor and now in march the favor seems to have ended and for those of you who are doing well what am i doing by god and by grace that is producing the results that i now enjoy can i reproduce it can i bring others into that experience hallelujah hallelujah understand the preceding scriptures that we started with he said i do not claim to have apprehended yet philippians chapter 3 from verse 12 how could paul say that do you know the level of paul's understanding when you read ephesians chapter 3 beginning from verse 3 paul makes the defense of his spiritual intelligence he says listen i didn't just learn this thing i was initiated Ephesians 3 3 I was called into a fellowship of the mystery it's like an initiation into a body of truth how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I written up in few words verse 4 he said so that when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ that means don't be surprised at the level the depth of my spiritual communication i was drawn in by grace into a fellowship it's like an initiation into a body of understanding and yet that's the same man who is saying i do not claim to have known anything ah. he said this one thing i do i forget the things that are behind he never said i forget the failures that are behind failure is not the only thing you need to forget we're getting there but now let me let me just run quickly because i want us to pray let's study the life of gideon and learn a lesson or two that will help us tonight and god will grant us grace are you ready to learn now judges 7 verse 1 
someone's life is changing in the name of jesus then jerubal who is gideon and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched now let me explain the context for you when god was done working with gideon he sustained the courage and the bible says he blasted a shofar when gideon blasted a shofar 33 000 people came are we together now that was the man who was once weak and mediocre now he had the courage to call that shofar and 33 000 people came and the bible says that all those people came and met him by the valley verse 2 verse 2 very quickly and the lord said unto gideon the people that are with thee are too many for me to give the midianites into their hands why lest israel vaunt themselves against me saying my own hand had saved me now follow very carefully there are two principal tests and they also represent the price you must pay if you want to make progress test number one this was the test that was going to reduce the people let's find out what qualified the 300 out of 33,000. what happened that 300 were left and they were the only ones who went and conquered are you ready test number one verse three now therefore go to proclaiming the ears of the people saying whoever is fearful and afraid let him return and depart early from mount gilead and there return how many people <laughs> my goodness and my god believers are, are we are we students of scripture that out of thirty-three thousand people who came twenty-two thousand were in fear and he said listen don't frustrate our journey so we give you a chance now if you don't believe in your destiny enough if you are not convinced that is worth giving your all i give you a chance go back ladies and gentlemen how many went back twenty and two thousand and there remain i understand that god spoke to you and you wrote the vision and he told you you will be shaking the nations i understand that he told you when you had that shofar he said blow the trumpet in zion i know that you have come out but just because you showed up to honor that sound does not mean you will get there test number one is the test of courage it takes courage hear me the first price it takes to be a trailblazer to be consistent to weary limitations till you win is the price of courage courage is derived from conviction listen carefully courage is not outsourced it is generated one more time courage is not outsourced it is generated generated from a conviction god is speaking to someone already the lord said unto gideon the people are too many please go to verse 3 let's just stay at verse 3 god is speaking to someone now your family members they seem too many who will rise from there and break i know you come from a crown of five thousand people and just because a family meeting was held don't make a mistake of believing that everybody who came there intends to get to the other side test number one who is he that will not be fearful who is he that will not be afraid he said whosoever is fearful and afraid let him return and return early don't waste our time and the bible says twenty-two thousand people for god's sake they said gideon we are returning remember the dream god showed you i'm still returning remember you've come too far you left your house i'm, I'm still returning can i tell you many have returned in ministry many have returned in business many have returned over their health many have returned i'm here to encourage someone pass this test 
if it is there hold on hold on hold on before i pray for you you have to know that there are tests you must go through you may not like what i'm teaching you but if it's advancement you intend to have there is a test behind every genuine result you see is a testament of endurance and courage make no mistake to think the anointing just came and moved people uh -uh. before the anointing came you know the audacity it takes to position yourself to defy the crowd defy opinions we live in a world that does not respect the sacrifices of people the stamina and the staying power the man of god is just lucky the businessman i think he was just lucky do you know the pain and the tears nobody wins the olympic by mistake no you can get to the field by mistake dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos, kete branda kata pakotos koto breke teke nekata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.